no matter what situation we are faced with, we always turn to Allah. We always turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we reflect, how am I supposed to respond in this situation? Am I going to complain if a bad calamity falls? Are we going to complain and cry and make a big noise about it? Or are we going to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Similarly, when good conditions come upon me, are we going to become lazy, forget Allah, leave our prayers because we're happy? No, we're going to make shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every situation. So the last few days in this country that we live in has not been very good for the Muslims. And the Muslims throughout the country, they feel very depressed, very down. They don't know what to do. They're scared. And rightfully so. They're scared because what is going on? In the past 72 hours, such Islamophobic incidents have taken place that causes fear in our hearts. Hate crime is on an all-time high for the Muslims. And this is a fact. More than 60 different incidents have taken place in the past 48 to 72 hours regarding the Muslims. Where our sisters, hijabs are being pulled out. Where slurs are given to the Muslims that go back to your country. You don't belong here. How are Muslims supposed to react to this? This is a time of confusion. This is a time of scare. That we don't know what the future of Muslims in this country is going to be. And at times, we cave in to our fears. And we, re we react in a manner which Allah SWT does not want us to react. And we have certain individuals that they let go of their religion. The Prophet wasallam, when he was given the noble message that you are the final prophet and you must call mankind, you must call mankind towards the one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every single thing regarding his life was attacked. His honor was attacked. People are warned, don't go close to Muhammad. He's gone crazy. He's going to give you such ideas and make you confused. His reputation went down. The security of his family went down. The security of himself went down. People were spitting on him. People were throwing dirt on him, causing inconvenience to him, ridiculing him, his family members, his daughters were given talaq because of his father was saying that he is the final prophet. That is a difficulty that he had to go through. So yes, these times are testing times. These are testing times of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Surah Yusuf, we all know about the story of Yusuf alayhi salam, that as a child he sees a dream and his brothers get jealous of him and his brothers throw him in a well and he's in this well for a few days and a caravan takes him and they take him to Egypt and he's sold in the market of Egypt. So much hardship Yusuf had to go through. If any individual was in that place, he would feel so depressed, so down that what is my life? I am thrown away by my own blood, my own kin. I'm thrown in a well, not knowing if I'm ever gonna survive. Then I'm sold in the market as a slave. I am in an unknown land. A person's life at the time seems the ultimate low. And on top of that, then he is accused of adultery. He is innocent, he's accused of adultery. Due to that, he's thrown in jail. Negative after negativity after negativity. Look at all that. But what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reply? This one ayah, one small fragment of ayah in Surah Yusuf, that is the crux of the entire surah. Which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allahu ghalibun ala amrihi wa lakin akthar al nas la yaqin. Allah is in power of his affairs. Allah is in charge of his affairs. However, majority of the people don't realize this. Everything is in control. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took all that negativity away and brought him all the way to the top. Yusuf al-Islam from the bottom of a well, he comes and becomes the king of Musa. And as Muslims, we need to realize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-Hakim. He is wise. That the actions of a wise person is never free from wisdom, it always has wisdom. Whatever Allah does, there's wisdom in it, whether we realize it or not. We might understand the wisdom, we might not understand the wisdom. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says that perhaps, perhaps you hate a situation or you hate something and that is beneficial for you. And perhaps you love something, a situation or a thing or an issue and that might be harmful for you. So there could be good in situations where we assume to be bad. 
And this is the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He shows the world. That wa makaru wa makar Allah, wallahu khayrul makirin. They plan, and Allah plans that Allah is the best of planners. Mankind plans whatever they want to plan, but Allah also plans. And no one could overpower the plans of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you go back a few years, go back 15 years or so, and when the 9 11 event happened, when certain individuals did a crime, and the religion of Islam had to pay unjustly for their crime, and they were blamed for their crime, crime. And the Muslims were prosecuted in America. Islamophobia was on a high at that time. People were afraid for their lives at that time. But the hidden system of Allah was still in play. The people that accept Islam after 9-11 was much more than people before 9-11. Islam came into the media. Islam came on the lips of people, into the ears of people. People became curious. Many non-Muslims started to contact Muslims. They bought the Quran. They went to the masjids and they, and they inquired about Islam. And people accepted Islam on huge numbers because of the negativity that others planned for Islam. They planned to put Islam down. They plan to put Islam down. Allah wants Islam to always shine. And Islam shined throughout the country that in hordes, people came into the fold of Islam. People came into the fold of Islam. Just to give an example that ever since this last year, a lot of negativity has come against Islam. But how many people have accepted Islam? And there have been documented cases that people have come out and say that I did not know about Islam, but because of this candidate, he spoke so ill of Islam, I wanted to inquire and I became a Muslim. And I became a Muslim. One woman who accepted Islam, she accepted Islam last year. She was not wearing the hijab, but after this election, she said in January, I'm officially going to wear hijab every single day. This is the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we might see the negativity in this, but we have to make the positivity out of this. This is a time for us to show what Islam really is. This is time for us to show who Muslims really are. This is not time to shy away from our Islam. We should not hide away and say, no, I'm not a Muslim. Or don't, or don't ask me about my religion. Be proud of who you are. Show your Islam so people can recognize, no, these are the Muslims. These are the true Muslims, whatever the media is saying, whatever the internet is saying, that is incorrect. I know Muslims, my neighbor is a Muslim, and he's the best of individuals. I know Muslims, my co-worker is a Muslim, and he's the best of individuals. Don't tell me what Islam is, I know what Islam is. And this will bring people closer to Islam.